kick off with the anniversary edition content as well. I have no idea what that is because I haven't touched this game in forever. So we're starting over here from scratch. We'll see what happens. Day one dawns. It's been so long since I've played this. I don't even remember what it looks like anymore. All right, this is the house. Three survivors. All right, who do we have? Many people thought it would last a few weeks, but it's been years. Military surrounded the rebels in the capital, cutting off all supply lines. Civilian population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease, and shell fire. Katya met Pav Pavla and Bruno before the war. She used to be a reporter. Bruno had his own television cooking show. Pavel was the star of the local football team. Katya even interviewed him once. Now they meet in dramatically different circumstances, looking for food and shelter. Wow, oh, alright. Alright, so let's put people to work then. We'll start by breaking down whatever resources, barricades and things we can. Okay, I can't open this door. Let's, let's grab all of it. You're still stuck here, so let's try that one instead. Let's have a look in this cupboard and see what we can find. Yeah, grab everything. Okay, some good news. Oh, there's a treehouse out the backyard. Okay. We'll wind up having to do something about that soon enough. Oh, grab everything for now. I'm hoping we can find a lockpick somewhere so we can get into that basement room. No lockpicks, gears, sugar cubes. Grab everything. See if we can get upstairs. Katya slightly sick. Bruno's a good cook. Pavel's a fast runner. Uh, had tools. We don't have tools. All right, that sucks. Good news is it's only 8:40 a.m. It's a decently comfortable 17 degrees. Let's see what else we can break down here. I'm gonna have to set these guys to work soon. Probably building beds first, I guess. Didn't find much of anything. Alright. Let's see what we can build here to try and get things going. Improvements. No. Uh, oh, right. Make. Place that one there. Now we can finally get to that upstairs. Katya still cleaning things out. Uh, another locked door. Damn it! All right. Um, okay. Let's get to work on another bed then. For the time being. Get a radio up and running, I think, actually. She's still digging. I'll get him to start work on another bed. It's only 11 in the morning. So we still have time to get at least one more bed up. Okay. Place that here. Managed to clear the barricade. So let's see if we can get this door open. He's got a radio. Whoever finishes first, I guess. Alright, let's see what we got. Not to cross the front line. Failure leads to death. Let's see what else there is. Despite desperate counterattacks by the rebels, city remains completely cut off. Government forces preventing any aid into the city. Up, then I suppose that's something. 
In the meantime, since Bavel's free for the moment, let's see if we can... What do I need for a stove? Need more wood, and I need more parts. Okay. Let's try checking that drawer for now. Let's try that cupboard up there, too. See what we can get. Food, herbs, jewelry. Alright, that's going to be great. If I need to barter, I suppose. What did you find? Is that a lockpick? Excellent. Oh, lockpick. Oh, good grief. That's locked, too, so that's no point in going there. Alright, let's see if there's what's in there. Maybe there's something useful in there for the time being. Search that backyard rubble pile. And... I don't know. Let's see what else we can build. Let me, maybe we can build something. At least I'm hoping we can build something. Alright, what do we got? Alright. Some useful stuff. I. Alright. Okay. Let's get that stove up and running in the kitchen, I suppose, would be best. Another lockpick. That's good news. Okay, Bruno, check the treehouse. It's a locked door and another rubble pile there. Locked door and a rubble pile. Alright, we'll do the basement next just because the basement's closer. Some more resources that are useful there. Alright, the cook's gonna have to head into the kitchen. Hopefully he can cook something quickly. See if he can make anything here. We don't have enough. We need to make some. Cr okay. Pavel. See if we can make some firewood. You start breaking down that barricade. Water filters. Wood. Books. Ah, well, for now, sorry. I'm gonna have to use the book. Don't have a choice. Oh, you can make wood here. Okay, that's changed from the last time. Make that for now. Uh, use the wood. I'm pretty sure I can get that when I go out scavenging at night. I'm gonna have to send Pavel out, I guess. <coughs> All right, so. Oh, come on. This, this hasn't been fixed yet. The fact that I can only... Uh, that is so irritating. You know, it's like I can't make food because there's food there. It's kind of stupid. All right. Looking at this, there's not much I can do until I get a couple of more lock picks to get the top door there open. Alright, so I guess, Bavel, you're heading out tonight, so take a nap first. Oh, you're not tired. Great! I suppose there's anything in the front garden. No, there's nothing in the front garden. There's nothing up there either. Alright then. I'll take a load off, man. Let's see what else we can build, maybe. There's nothing else we can build until we upgrade the workbench. I'm going to have to look at getting a heater going soon. But it's almost the end of the day, so this is where we'll end day one. And the way I figure it, she's going to... Katya's going to sleep. Pavel's going to head out to scavenge. And Bruno can stay on guard. Alright, in terms of locations... Uh, that quiet house, it might be worth it. Lots of food, huge amounts of materials, meds, weapons, and parts. Let's hit the quiet house. Hopefully there won't be any issues there. I'm not taking anything with me because, well, I'm breaking and entering. In a survival situation, make no mistake, I will do whatever is necessary to survive and to look after those I care about. 
everyone else is essentially secondary in nature and expendable to me. Which basically means I'll probably wind up getting killed quite quickly. Teddy bears. Interesting. Alright. Alright, there's that old couple. Does the door open? Well, you didn't lock your front door. So, how does this play out then? Wife is sick, huh? I see. Alright. So what happens if I just walk through the house? Alright, the way I figure it. I wonder if there's anything out here. Maybe something. Hmm. He's gonna basically follow me around, isn't he? Yeah, that's the way it's going to be. Don't have any tools to open anything with. And I don't seem to have anything to... Oh, man. Oh, this is Temptation Island right here. Yeah. No mercy. in the basement. This guy's lucky I'm not armed, otherwise I'd kill him for sure. What is this? Room down there. Doors locked. What else you got? Alright, he's in luck. I'm full up. Time to get out of here. I'm gonna come back here, probably raid the rest of it in the following night. Mostly because I don't have a conscience. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Couldn't give a damn about those people. Alright, first things first, grab some food. Katya. Right, I'm gonna have to go back there. Take a nap. Take a load off, my man. He needs sleep. So it's gonna take some time. Actually, you know what? You cook, you sleep. You can sleep tonight. I'm gonna have to go back to that house to get the medications. I don't have a choice. I've gotta look after my own first. I've got the resources for that, so I don't know. here. Yeah. Make two firewood and then cook the meal. I can upgrade, okay. Ah. Have a snack, my friend. Eat something. Good grief. She's sick. Make sure she gets some food as well. And have him sleep. There's no lockpick, so there's actually... Let's have her check the radio real quick and see what's happening. Nope, nothing new there. Nothing new there. Alright, let's have some classical music for a change. You go grab a meal.
shouldn't have, I need a third bed. I don't have a choice here. Shit, not enough wood. Chair's pointless. Mm. Teach. Mm. All right. No choice. There's nothing else to do, so I'll just end it. So. Have him guard, have her sleep, and he's going to scavenge. We're gonna hit the quiet, the old folks house. I'm gonna have to take the meds from them. Don't have a choice. My own before anyone else. Letter from Grandpa Bernard to Alan. <laughs> if I wanted to kill you, trust me, I'd have killed you a long time ago. Let's get out of here. Day three dawns in the war-torn city of Pogrom. Oh, come on. What the hell else could I put on guard? What the hell? Right, let's bandage you up. Let's get you some healing. I'm gonna have to hit that damn grocery store tonight. I don't have a choice. Uh, keep clicking the wrong icon there. Hungry, slightly wounded, bandaged, tired. Alright, sleep first, you crazy fool. Get some meds. much it. I can't do much because I just don't have the resources to do anything at the moment. Ugh. I'm just hoping there's something good in that basement down there because really. Oh jeez. Alright. Take a nap. End the day. That's the way it's going to be. Have him sleep. Have him scavenge. And she's on guard. Let's go. Let's 
see what we can find. Take it all. Wow, there really isn't much. Oh, good grief. I'm going to have to dig through that. That's going to be a... Whoa, there's a lot of stuff here. These are what? Homegrown roll-up cigarettes, homegrown tobacco, coffee. Alright, I'll grab the coffee. Ah! Alright. Guess I can dig through for now. Don't have anything else to do. Yeah, if only. Keep digging, bucko. Keep digging. That's the only way forward here. PM he's been digging for an hour but he's about 80% done slow and steady I suppose and he's through at last all right Have a look at this. What's here? Sorry, I couldn't wait. Hit some jewelry inside the books in the basement, inside carton boxes behind the door. So somebody abandoned somebody. There's movement. That isn't good. What do we got? Oh, it's a couple of rats. Thank goodness for that. Alright, so I'm gonna have to come back here. There's no point in and staying. I can't carry anything else. I might as well just head back right now. I need to get that third bed built, so hopefully I can do that during the day. And then I need to see about food as well, and water. I need to start getting water up and running somehow. So much to do, so little time. Alright, let's see how... Everybody's hungry. Alright. Take a nap. Take a nap. Let's see if I can build that bed. That third bed, finally. God damn it, what am I missing? Not enough wood. Are you kidding me? Ugh. So there's nothing else I can do, basically. Oh, good grief. You'd always eat something. You're always hungry. Too hungry and tired. At least let them sleep and rotate it round. So it should be okay. End another day. This is ridiculous. Set him to guard. Set her to guard as well. Let's go. I still don't have anything to break open locks with or pry open doors. No shovel, no crowbars, nothing. So that's actually getting a touch frustrating at the moment. I think I left, I left some stuff here last night. Yeah, grab that. There's nobody here, so it's just really just snatch and grab. at the moment is a case of just take everything sugar Ooh. let's check 
check the basement since that's already half open. Yeah. See what's in the fridge. Food would be great, but I have my doubts. Whoa. Jackpot. I'll take those for sure. Leave the teddy bear in the books. And pop that up. Can I take this? No, I can't. Abandon the coffee. I'll take the water. Okay. That's pretty much it. Run to the exit. Because I can't carry anymore. Oh, this is getting aggravating. But at least food is not an issue for the next couple of days. And water shouldn't be an issue for the next couple of days as well at least. So that's going well in my favor. Can actually afford to feed two of them. Hopefully make some more food after that. So he's hungry. Give him something to eat. Go to sleep, hungry man, tired man. In the meantime, check the radio. Move. See what the radio. Cool clouds, rain fall. Cold evening. Shit, I hope that doesn't mean winter is coming. That's gonna suck for me. Radio. Alright, somebody got shot by a sniper. Mass graves in the town of Glav Glavaria. Military secured the area and denied reporters access. Somehow, I'm not the least bit surprised. Oh, come on, just give me some music or something. That'll do it. have him cook something and you sleep come on move it make some firewood I think I'm gonna have to try somewhere else next Seems that their bios have updated a bit, so let's have a read. Drag for more. Yep. You have to steal from that poor family. Rat or a pigeon. Yeah, he's about as mercenary as I am. Try to write down my experiences. He wants, she wants to find her parents. Yeah, good luck with that. Welcome to the war zone, lady. Sheesh. Make some food again. Very hungry. Hungry. Alright, he needs to eat, though. So as soon as he's done cooking... Yeah? dude so you eat you sleep tonight we switch and we're gonna have to hit a new location there's no choice all right end the day so hungry and tired hungry and sad and just hungry hungry and tired you're sleeping in a bed you're hungry to try that yet. A semi-detached house. Airport. St. Mary's supermarket. 
try the airport. It just seems like res less less of a risk, I suppose you could say. Scavenge, tired, sleep, guard, prep. Let's go. Alright, I'm not sure how long this has been going for at the moment, but I figure I'll do probably about day 7 and then uh, I'll end this first. Let's play on this one. It's interesting how the place is still on fire. Okay, I need the wood. Let's grab as much as I can. There doesn't seem to be much at all, actually. No movement, none that I can see. Hold it. Caution now. Rats? No. Somebody. Alright. Let's avoid trouble if we can. Really not worth the hassle in my opinion. Let's see what else. Oh, see what's through here. Okay, open the door. And let's just sneak our way along very quietly through this ruined airport. How far along can we go here? Alright, you know what, never mind how far we can go, let's just hit this point first. What do we got? Wow. Oh boy. A lot of raw materials here, there's nothing more for it. So, alright, I've got the time on my side, so I guess I can, yeah, should be able to bust down this barricade without any problems. It's only 10.50 p.m., so you'll be digging till about 1, I reckon. I could take a short nap and come back and nobody would even notice. I am fully aware that there are hacks and cheats and other things like that, but... That kind of defeats the whole point of this as a let's play if I just break out all the hack and cheat tools, right? Well, there you have it. Hence why we're doing this the old-fashioned way, such as it is. I'm actually going to take a moment right now to comment on uh, YouTube's most, lacent, most recent and most bullshit move, in my opinion, that they're actually now requiring anybody who's trying to monetize their content to get at least 10,000 lifetime views. Now I've done a little bit of looking and some research into this. What the hell is a lifetime view, YouTube? Can you clarify that, please? Like, seriously, you know? I mean, I'll be honest, I don't monetize my videos because I'm trying to make a living off YouTube. I monetize them, you know? Most of my Let's Play stuff, I monetize that because I'd like to make a little money off, in a sense, off people who enjoy my stuff, enjoy the videos I upload. But YouTube is making that more and more complicated and more and more difficult, you know? And I don't think they're being really fair about it to anybody. Any content creator on YouTube these days is just getting, literally, taking it up the ass now. I mean, for the established big names, it's no big, this is no skin off their nose, this is no skin off their back. And I don't grudge these guys their success. You know, I mean, other Let's Players like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, even Cry, Cryotic, you know? I don't grudge them their success. They worked for it, they earned it, good for them. But for the newcomers, you know, you make it really, really hard for us to actually make YouTube a viable platform to do anything on. I mean, especially with your latest move regarding, you know, subscribers versus watch minutes, that new algorithm switch a few months ago, and now you're doing this thing as well. So it's just very, very frustrating trying to, you know, get a little bit of something for what we do as content creators, you know? But enough of my rambling, it's dawn of day 6 now, I managed to bring back enough, I hope, raw materials so that you can finally get that bed made. Oh, come on, we got raided? Oh, they didn't find anything. Alright, fair enough. Uh, he's hungry and tired. Yeah, well, alright, put him to bed. You're hungry and slightly wounded. How are you wounded still? 
Have a bandage. You're hungry and tired. You can go make a bed first. Ah, she's tired because she was on guard last night. Yay, bed. So I'll put her to sleep and he can build the bed. After that, it's check the radio and call it a night. No, call it a day, really, because it's just nothing else I can do for the moment. I'm curious whether this door is still locked or whether I can unlock it now. Should. Hey, great. What's down here? Yeah, don't have the tools to force the lock. Hmm. Maybe I'll try that military base tonight. Go there to barter more than anything else. I'm trying to find a radio station, something. Hang on. Nope. Possible rain. Classical music. Rooter, Lie, looters are roaming the city. Lock your doors and stay inside. No shit, chief. Nothing new elsewhere. Alright, let's go back to the classical music station. And there's nothing else to do. Try and take a nap then, buddy. Alright. And this is the end of day six. Good grief. I feel like I've done practi I've achieved practically nothing at this point. I mean, it's understandable. Teddy bears. I've got one jewel. I really don't know what to do with that for the moment. Hello, who's this guy at the front door? Bargaining skills. Alright, she's hungry and tired. Let's see what this guy has to offer. See what the terms for the trades are. It may, be, it may be worth doing some trading with this guy, but somehow I have my doubts about that. Because previously he was really not worth it. What is this? Moonshine. Bullets. Useless. I don't have a gun. Gun parts. Oh, wow. Alright. Wood's always handy. I'm just curious what the trade rate would be, so let's clean him out and see what this gets me here. Are you kidding me? That's what it's worth? Oh, get out of here. Oof. It just ain't worth it. Alright, go back to sleep then. I guess tonight I'm sending her out anyway. I'm gonna have to try my luck at the military base, I think. Hungry, slightly wounded. Alright, Pavel sleeps. Bruno guards. Got the scavengers. Oh, I'm undecided between the outpost or St. Mary's Church. I think I'd have better luck trading with a priest than I would the military. Let's take that jewel and see what we can get for that. Nobody in my group is a coffee addict, so I'll trade the coffee bean off as well. These are the herbs. Let's take that and let's go scavenge. Well, I'm not really scavenging because I'm more looking to make a trade deal with this guy. If I had a gun or two, I'd probably shoot him and take everything he had. So I guess in an apocalypse situation, you either want me on your side or you'd be trying to kill me. I'm not sure. This church has seen better days. Eh, well. 
I'm wondering if I can trade the good father for some raw materials. No, well, I ain't interested in picking a fight with you. How do I trade with this guy? Yeah, they can sleep, I don't mind. Hmm. Ah, there we go. So it's basically just a bit of a waiting game, huh? Take the vegetables. He's got books, filter, fire fuel. Man, this isn't okay. Hang on. Since he has the wood, I got like. Man, he's giving me worse rates than the door-to-door -door salesman ass clown. Seriously. Yeah, maybe I should just kill him and come back later. Medicine. Yeah. One vegetable and two firewood. Are you kidding me? Good God. Alright, let's try material and see. this vegetable though so let's see what we can do with that huh. he ain't no slouch I'll give him that I don't know why I'm bothering to trade for the firewood when I'm actually carrying already quite a bit of wood on me Vegetable is interesting. Hmm. Okay. A couple of books, maybe. All right. Deal. Ah, I can't carry that. Are you kidding me? Shit. Okay, okay, let's simplify life. Let's remove the books first. Let's remove. That's like a crap deal. I'd rather take this. Uh, let's check the backpack. Alright, we're full up, but I've got basically eight, so I can trade two slots worth of stuff for that. Okay, let's take that. Four, five. Okay. So, what else can I get? Bullets. One bullet. Meh. See what I can get the meds for. Yeah, I figured that wouldn't fly, but can't blame a guy for trying, dude. Come on. What a filter. Alright. Yeah, okay, that's a fair deal. That's good enough for me. We're done here. Let's get out of here. And it's back home, ladies and gents. This is the dawn of day seven, and it's the end of this first video. So, thank you so much for watching. We will pick this up right where we've left off in the second video. So, until then, well, stay safe out there. It's a warm torn city and everybody's crazy. Good night. Or rather, good morning.